and welcome back to my channel. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing fabulously well. So it's been a minute since I've done, you know, a sit down, kind of get ready with me, kind of talk you through what I'm doing, um, kind of makeup video. Again, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just somebody who really enjoys playing with makeup. So that's what I did today. I just played around with some new bits and pieces. Um, and kind of just created a look that I've been doing a lot recently, um, which is just like my go-to glam kind of, you know, feeling myself, yes, swag, sleek, elegant, yes, D kind of look. Um, so this is what I've created for you guys today. I've slicked my hair back, which is very unusual for me because I never actually wear my hair like this, but I'm actually really liking how it looks, um, especially because i got brows on my face, you know? When I ain't got these brows on, shit, people, I look like I have no brows on my face at all. You guys already know. So yeah, I created this look for you guys today. I really hope that you like it, and if you do like it, then give it a thumbs up. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. And yeah, if you guys wanna see how I achieved this look right here, then just keep watching. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with our skin. Um, I'm gonna do the skin first, just because um, that's how it works best for me, basically. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin, and I'm gonna be using the Benefit um, Matte Rescue Primer and the Benefit Professional. I'm going to use the Matte Rescue in my T-zone area and the Professional just on my cheeks here because that's where um, my pores literally come to get me. So I'm going to use these two primers right here. Then I'm going to use the Collections Last Imperfections Foundation. You guys saw this in my Superdrug haul that I done a couple of weeks back. Um, and yeah, I've been loving it, so that's what we're going to use today. So now that the base is on, um, I really like this foundation as you guys know. It's not too full coverage, but it just gives enough coverage for me and where I like it. So we put the base on, then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 35. You guys know how I feel about this. So I'm just gonna dot a couple of this under my eye, like so. And then I'm actually gonna use my finger to blend it out. like so and because I just want a bit of extra coverage just on the under eye area just here I'm going to go in with my makeup a revolution concealer I'm just going to add one dot of this underneath my eyes just to give me that extra full coverage and extra brighten so just right in the center right here and I'm going to further blend that out with my finger this is just to add extra light for me because I can get really dark in here so I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Okay, so now that we have blended out the concealer, so again, I use the Makeup Revolution right in the inner corner of my eye here, and then I use the Maybelline Fit Me right underneath. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a bit of my Maybelline Master Fix um, translucent powder. I'm gonna take that on a beauty blender. This is the Real Techniques um, uh, sponge, and I'm just gonna Pop that right underneath my eyes. And just leave it there for about five minutes. Because when I add a translucent powder underneath my eyes, it can really, really dry it out. So I just leave it under there for about three to five minutes and then I'll come back and I'll just brush it away. Okay, then I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is in the shade 350. And I'm gonna use that to set just the perimeters of my face. Um, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so now my face is set, I'm going to go ahead and do a tiny, tiny bit of contouring. So I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Contour, what is this one called? The Iconic Lights and Contour Pro Palette. Um, I'm going to use the darkest shade right here in the palette just to give my cheeks a little bit 
of a contour. So I'm going to use a Morphe brush. Just to contour my cheeks up a bit. And then once we've done that, I'm going to contour my nose and I'm just going to take a tiny eye brush like so. Just dip in a tiny bit into that product. Tap off the excess, you guys already know how we do. And I'm just going to bring it just on the sides, right here of my nose. Like that. And then I feel like I've got a bit too much in the brush, so I'm just going to dust it off on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to just further blend that all out. Just really give it a good blend. Um, and blend it all out on my nose. Because I don't want my contour on my nose to be harsh whatsoever. And I do bring it into the right inner corner here. Just between my eyebrow and the top of my nose here. Just to give it like an extra bit of depth. Um, who did I see doing this? I'm not actually sure. But I like the way it looks on me. So... I'm not mad at it, just to slim down that nose a little bit, do you know what I'm saying? Literally just slim it. Slim my nose, people, slim it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a Morphe M180 brush and just dust all the way that bake. And yeah, that's it. Dust that bake away, people. Lovely, so we are powdered, we are contoured, we are baked, um, and then now I'm going to add a bit of bronzer. So I'm going to use my Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer, I will find another bronzer one day that is just as good as this, but until then, bear with me people, bear with. I'm going to take a Dua Fibre brush, pick up a whole bunch of that bronzing powder, and then just bronze where I contoured, and this is just to add colour. Because that contour colour is like really cool, and you know it just adds shadow so now what I want to do is I want to go in and add color now to the perimeter of my skin just to add some you know dimension back into this base so again all the high points the jawline need to get to the gym I've been suffering from like quite dry scalp at the minute um, I don't know if it's because I need to just change my shampoo or whatever but hello Babe, what are you doing in here? I'm filming. All right, so we've bronzed our face. I'm now gonna go in and just clean up that bronzer underneath the cheekbones, just snatch them out a little bit, do you know what I mean? Make my cheeks look like I actually have defined high cheekbones, forcing it, you know, all about illusions. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Uh, just for your information, Aaron's lying on the bed right next to me. So if I get distracted while we're filming, that's why, because this big head wants to come and lie down while I'm trying to film and be all distracting and shit. So anyway, yeah, we've got the bronze down, we've got the bakage down, so we're doing the right thing. Then I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolutions Barsh palette, just to give a bit of, you know, I don't know, just give a bit of something basically back to this face, because it's looking a bit, it's just not where I need it to be at the minute. So, bronzing up them cheeks. Babe, if you're going to yawn, can you yawn in silence, please? Thank you. Like, my viewers don't need to hear you yawn. Oh, look, guys, he's very mature. And now he's putting his middle finger up at me. He's very, very mature. Watch, I'll catch him on camera. One day, people, I will catch his ass. Okay, so once we've blushed up the cheeks, then I'm just going to go and dust that vape away. Like so... And um, yeah, that's it. That is all the powdering done. I'm going to add some highlighter. So I'm going to use my, I think I'm going to use my Jouer highlighter. I haven't used it in quite a while. So I'm going to use my Jouer highlighter in tan lines to give myself some glow. So we're going to pick some of that up. Oh my God, you guys, I keep burping. You know, I had a Copperberg strawberry line and um, I can't keep, like, I can't stop burping. It's actually butters. So I'm just going to add some of that highlight on to the cheekbones. Nothing too blinding today. Like I'm not even going to try and force it. So just adding some of that highlighter on. Hope you guys can see it on camera. 
it's just gonna add that on like so bit to the top of the nose like I'm a doorbell it's a cupid's bow or the top of the lip whatever you want to call it do you know what I'm not actually feeling this I need to add something on top so I'm gonna add my Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in the color what's this one molten gold I swear this highlight is just is so good it is so freaking good Maybelline really like done a thing with this one it's so good like especially for my skin tone like it's just yes people yes so we're just gonna go over the points that we just touched on before with the Jouer highlighter and then just blind everyone basically and that's it cute cute okay so what's next we've done all the powders we're all good we're all good so I'm gonna go off camera do my brows and I'll be right back people all right guys so brows are on I look more human Aaron is now satisfied because I have brows on all right guys so now we're just gonna do the eyes I'm literally just gonna do something so simple and then a bit of a, a small wing liner nothing too dramatic because it's about the skin I want the skin to look really nice and like you know banging and flawless and fetched and snatched and all of those words that people use on Instagram so yeah we're just going to use my tried and true palette Jaclyn Hill Morphe you guys are probably so sick of it but YOLO in it I'm going to use it anyways um so uh, I learned this new technique basically um of like building the colors from like more or less my skin tone to a bit of darker shade if that even makes sense like if it don't then soz in it but you know, you know I'm not a pro at this shit, isn't it? But anyway, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I hope you guys can see. Not this shade, this shade right here. I'm gonna just tap into that shade right here. Is it this shade? Yeah, it's this one right here. And I'm just gonna bring that in the crease of my eyes and buff that back and forth. Just to add a nice transition color like so all right then i'm gonna go in with this color right here which is a tiny bit darker a bit more cooler on the undertone but it's fine and i'm gonna just bring that in as well back and forth back and forth just add in some dimension and just you know creating like a really simple eye look really and then i'm gonna go in with this shade right here, pick up some of that just to add a bit more darkness. And then we're gonna bring that right through the crease and down onto the lid, a little bit. Brush that on there. And obviously you guys can see I'm literally using the same brush to do all this with, like that's how easy it is. And this is why I love doing this because it's just so easy okay so that is literally it for the eyeshadows so as you can see we've just got a bit of color on the lids just to kind of bring them alive and just you know give it a little something just so it doesn't look dead and it doesn't look a bit boring like just to add a little something to the eyes and just bring them alive really like this is what I love doing with these free shadows like, I use free shadows the same brush and boom that's it one palette you're good okay and then I'm gonna use my soap and glory super cat liquid eyeliner to do a little bit of a wing liner if I get too close to the camera please excuse me but you know the struggle is real with liners so you know let, let's just do this together Okay, so wing liner is done. I'm not sure if they're twins, but they're definitely sisters. You know, we're just gonna stick with that one. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes and then pile on some mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes just using a normal lash curler. This one is from Avon. So I'm just gonna use that to curl the lashes. So really pinch them and, you know, just get them as curled as possible. All right, next eye. Don't juke your eye out when you're doing this. Do not juke your eye out. 
Okay, eyelashes are curled, and then I'm gonna go in with my very best friend, the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Um, and I might just top this up with a little bit of the Maybelline, um, what's this one? The Great Lash Mascara, just on top, because I really like the finish that it has. So I might just pair them up together. Lovely. Love the way this mascara looks. Then, like I said, I'm just going to top it off with the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara on top. Just to give it even more boost and even more volume and drama. Do you want to keep it down over there, babe? Because, you know, you're stretching up the place and, you know, the actual camera is picking up everything you're doing. Thanks, really appreciate it. Okay, so eyelashes are looking everything. I really like the way that they look actually. I'm happy with them. Obviously, you guys know I don't wear falsies yet. So the way this is giving me what I need, I'm for it, I'm for it. Okay, so next is to just do a lip and then this look is complete. So I'm gonna use my NYX lip liner in 810 Natural. Um, it's beat up, it's used, I love it. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite, favorite liquid lipstick for everyday, casual day, dressy up day, just favorite lips, liquid lipstick of all time. Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Cork. Okay, so all that's to do next is just to add some setting spray to this face. I might add a bit of highlight to my shoulder, whatever's left on this brush, just to Give a bit of, yes, to the shoulder. Come on, bling me people, bling me. Lovely, love a bit of sheen. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and then just gonna set this face with some Urban Decay All Night On. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I've just slicked my hair back in a ponytail. Um, no hair in my face, all my hair is out of my face. Let me guys know if you like the way this looks by commenting down below if I should wear my hair out of my face more often because it is something that I'm quite insecure about my forehead. So do let me know in the comment section down below if you think I look cute or pretty. Like, let me know. Let a girl know down below. Anyways, yes, this is the finished look. Obviously, it is just very simple, but the skin is looking lovely. The eyes are looking awake. The brows are looking fleeky. My skin is looking like a couple pounds lighter than it actually is, you know, because of the contouring and the snatching. Um, so yeah, like I really like the way it turned out. I'm not mad at it. I'm really happy with it. I need to go out now because I'm actually feeling the way this uh, looks, you know. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Tell everybody that you know to come and join the Team Cave family on YouTube. Tell them to check your girl out. Tell them, spread the word. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Otherwise, they're gonna get slept and you know, kicked up the arse basically. Do you know what I mean? I chat so much shit, man. <laughs>